my name is Alyssa Charles. I am with We Are Game. I'm from here in Bakersfield, California, and I grew up here. I went to Stockdale High School and played softball all four years, and then I went to Menlo College all four years, and I just graduated with my degree in accounting. So I connected with We Are Game when I was a sophomore in high school. I uh, actually got connected through my cousin Ashley, who's also in the program playing softball. Uh, met Alan and Joyce, we went on a women's retreat, and there they kind of set me up with mentoring, and Joyce is very great with uh, scheduling and kind of looking at colleges. They really helped me start looking at colleges, narrow down what I wanted to do. And uh, I was so undecided with like accounting. Uh, I, I think I came in wanting to do engineering. So they really helped me kind of weigh out the pros and cons of everything and look at different colleges. So We Are Game really helped my college career. So I went from high school and I was just didn't really know what I wanted to do my senior year. And we were just, we had a, Joyce put out a list of colleges, all the pros and cons. We looked at prices, um, where they were, I actually, at my college visits, I was originally going to go to the East Coast. And so they kind of put out all our pros and cons list. She helped me figure out like finances, all that. And then um, when I got to college and I decided to go to Menlo, we again looked at everything, um, like how I liked it, my pros and cons of the school when, once I decided like Menlo was my game plan. And then when I was actually attending Menlo, they set me up with mentorship. So I've gained a lot of mentors these past four years in college. Uh, so mentoring through We Are Game was really exciting just because there was so many different people I could meet with. Um, I met a lot through the We Are Game conference or, or retreat, as some people like to call it. Uh, we go down to LA and uh, it was just it's just a bunch of student athletes from We Are Game and then a lot of mentors for us, people who've been in athletics previously or people who are just willing to help. So that was super exciting to meet them all. And uh, mentoring, so I've mentored with a lot of different people. Uh, we talked about credit, we've talked about finances, um, paying off student debt. So I actually, fun fact, I uh, actually just paid off my student debt a couple of weeks ago. So I am graduating debt free, super excited. and. Um, and then also just mentoring in life. So I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do after college so much. And then also with sports, uh, I didn't finish college it being in sports. So it was really cool just to have that mentorship, like what's life like after sports and um, talk to people from different fields. Uh, Alan actually connected me with a lot of like accounting mentors. So I was able to talk to them and kind of just there's so many different branches of accounting that you could go into, so it was really cool just to talk to them and figure out what I wanted to do. Um, like there's audit, tax, consulting, and so I'm really excited. Uh, I actually chose audit for my starting career, so that's exciting. <laughs> so uh, Cheryl, so Cheryl's married to Blaze. Um, they're both part of the program, and she's been with me since the beginning of my senior year, and we've been talking bi-monthly, <laughs> a couple times a month. And she's been great. So she's she actually doesn't work in accounting, but she's been a great resource to me in other things. And we've talked about life, we've talked about school, just anything I needed to talk to. We just sit down for an hour once once or twice a month and just talk about everything on the phone. Just let her. I let myself like rant to her about my life, um, what's going on in college, what's this, what's that. And um, she's also able not just to be a listening ear, but also able to offer advice and just kind of give me the insight on life that, you know, sometimes not everybody's able to give me. So it's pretty great just to have her. And then I've also connected with Kathy, Kathy Gardner. I don't know if you guys have met her either. She's pretty great. Um, Kathy has been really great um, financially. So we talked about financials, um, how I'm gonna graduate debt free, what I'm gonna do next, um, investing for my future and working to eventually retirement, <laughs> making sure I'm putting money away from re retirement, uh, buying my first house, everything. So I'm saving right now, investing and working towards my future with her. So that's pretty great. So graduating debt free has been pretty interesting. I've taken on a lot of weird jobs here and there. Uh, just kind of, uh, I'm this year actually, I was dog sitting a lot. So I live in the Bay area. So a lot of people don't have kids. They have a lot of animals. <laughs> so uh, I've been dog sitting, uh, 
since my freshman year and then also working on top of that. So I was, my freshman year I was doing softball, school, dog sitting, and then um, I worked at a, a local paint shop in town. And so just kind of working since I graduated high school and just, I make sure to balance it. So I'm not just putting all my money towards my loans. I do like to travel a little bit. So I'm making sure just to kind of put both and then it was, it was absolutely my goal to graduate debt free. I, Alan will tell you. He, I told him many times that I wanted to graduate debt free. Uh, my parents, my parents were able to help me to get to college. They paid for you know my softball, everything. We were traveling a lot for softball, but I think college was like the deal we had made. Like once I get to college, like that was me. So uh, Joyce helped me fill out the FAFSA, did that, and then I was also. They were also sending me links to scholarships and stuff, not just for like people like me, but like uh, things that were applicable to my high school. So like stuff at Stockdale, Stockdale had resources and scholarships as well. So there was a lot of cool things there I was able to apply for and then I never stopped applying to scholarships my, my whole four years. I just continued applying and reapplying to scholarships. So that was nice. I think more than anything, the support from Alan and Joyce has been the biggest thing. Um, whatever I wanted to do, they were there to support me. They were able to provide me resources. Um, Alan and Joyce were able to provide me like links, statistics. Um, I know we always kind of like looked at statistics of minorities and uh, women in the workforce, uh, kind of what jobs I was looking into and how it kind of impacted my decision. And so we were able to look at the statistics behind everything, but also um, they were also able to give me resources. It's so funny because I feel like Alan knows literally everyone <laughs> and um, he was able to connect me with uh, people that were able to help me, like not exactly like influence my decision, but work with me to kind of tell me a little bit about their daily life, kind of what they do. He connected with me with people abroad. When I said I love being abroad, he's like, oh, here's some accountants abroad. If you want to meet them, they worked for KPMG as well. Here they are. And he was just kind of, He's very, very resourceful is what they've been for me throughout this process. And Joyce, she's definitely a lot in the background. I worked with her a lot more in high school and I've, I feel like I worked with her more in high school and my freshman year of college and then Alan a lot more these past three years. Joyce has always been there for mainly like the counseling stuff. So like making sure we're getting all our classes done in high school, making sure we're NCAA uh, ready and also making sure we know what colleges are out there for us and kind of looking at prices, looking at what they have to offer to us. I know everybody's so picky on their schools for different reasons. Uh, I know some, my friend, she couldn't go to, her mom was like, no, you can't go to that school because their mascot is this. That's so weird. So like, so I know everybody's super picky. So she laid out an Excel sheet for us and like, this is the price. This is the location. This is like kind of what the weather's like there. This is how many students are there. This is like the graduation rate. This is minority rate, like everything. She kind of laid everything out for us in Excel sheets and had us map out our top 10 schools, what schools we like, big, small, things like that. So it was really helpful for me, just my little high school self. Um, I'm also first generation, so it was super exciting just to have somebody there that was able to explain things to me. Um, my parents my parents have also been a great resource, but there's just some things that they don't necessarily know what to do when it comes to college, so it was great just to have them there and explain things to me and see things and you know fill out the FAFSA, fill out this, so it was, it was kind of great. So I just graduated last week, uh, super exciting. I am heading to Spain next Sunday. So exactly a week from today, I will be heading to Spain and I will be there for a month. So I'll just be traveling a little bit, living a little bit of life before I start my full-time job. In July, I'll be starting full-time with KPMG. I'll be studying for two months full-time for my CPA. And then from there in September, I'll be starting full-time audit work in Santa Clara. So I'll be moving up to Santa Clara in the Bay Area and starting full time and hopefully getting my CPA and learning a lot and then working from there. Um, I, I have two tips. My first tip would be like when you choose your college, make sure that you love the college regardless of your sport. So for me, my I wasn't able to finish with my sport um, and I just, I was blessed enough to have Menlo 
and Menlo was such a great community that I loved it either way with or without my sport and it was so much fun and I don't think I would have had it any other way and then my second tip would be network 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 um, network with people your own age in college network with all your friends and then use your resources with Alan make sure you have it makes you have mentors not just your age but people older than you people younger than you it's great to have network a network of everybody, whoever you meet, connect with them on LinkedIn, follow them on Instagram, talk to them. I still talk to all the We Are Game athletes. Uh, we have each other on all our social medias and stuff. So I haven't seen them in person in a couple of years because of COVID, but I'm able to reach out to them. You know, a lot of us are graduating, tell them congratulations, uh, moving on with their sports and stuff. So it's pretty cool just to be able to talk to everybody and keep in touch and have them there if they need it or if you need it. So it's great. So some of my favorite memories, uh, I feel like I have two uh, specific ones. Uh, the We Are Game Conference, my very first one. Uh, it was super exciting. My first time ever being with them, everybody. So it was all the athletes in one place. And gosh, there was probably a couple hundred of us. And we were just running around uh, camp. There were so many, so many things to do where we were. I don't know exactly where we were. It was in LA. But there's so many things to do. We went zip lining together. We played games. Uh, it was fun to see everybody like kind of play their sport. So like all the basketball players were playing basketball. All the football players were playing football. And us that didn't play those sports, we were able to join in, have fun, and just kind of meet everybody and network with all the student athletes, but also all the adults. And then more on like the mentoring side, I think getting to know my mentors has been really fun over the years. I, I mean, I call Alan probably once a month, talk to him a little bit. And then I also talk to Cheryl um, once or twice a month and we just kind of catch up on life. And they're also able to like help me with advice and just kind of like looking to the future as well. So really building those connections. I recently had my graduation party and it was so fun just to see how many people from We Are Game were able to attend and uh, see everybody running around and mingling and it's so funny because like we don't talk to each other every day but when we see each other like it's just like old friends just like catching up so it is really cool just to see everyone. Thank you guys so much for being here and talking to me and letting me tell my story to, about my journey through We Are Game and everything. Thank you guys. You know you gotta climb higher